I'm looking all over Portland for a great sandwich. And a whole bunch of our Twitter followers told us to go to Kenny and Zook's for their amazing pastrami Reuben. I'm totally down for it. As soon as we get down from here. You have to be the actual Kenny from I'm Kenny the Kenny. Zooks. Can yes. I call you Kenny? You, if you really want to piss me off, yeah. Oh, well, no, that's no, not you, good. You can call me Ken. I'm glad I asked. Ken is a transplanted New Yorker who realized there was a lack of great smoked meat up here in the Great Northwest. So he and his partner, Nick Zukin, decided to become pastrami pioneers. We spoke about 2,000 pounds of pastrami a week now. Wow. They make everything in-house, just like the old days. We're making our pickles from scratch, we're making our bagels, we're making our rye bread and our hamburger buns and our pastrami and corned beef and all of that stuff. And delis used to do that, you know, yeah. a long time ago. And now there's maybe six places in North America that still do it. Are you serious? And we're one of them. Allison from Portland told me about this pastrami Reuben. Tell me a little bit about it. Why is it so good? I mean, it's a pretty standard Reuben, except we're doing it with really good pastrami that we hand slice. We don't cut anything by machine. And we're doing it with our rye bread, and we're actually buttering the bread, which isn't exactly kosher, but the whole sandwich is in any way. But we, we, we're pretty liberal with the butter, and we just, you know, pack it with good things. We actually do a vegetarian root. Oh my yeah. gosh, you have to tell me about that later. No, we just too. put pastrami in and we just tell them it's vegetarian. Oh. He's a trickster, isn't he? We've got actually two vegans I know who actually came up to me and said, we ate one of your pastrami sandwiches and we're vegan and I guess. Are you serious? Enough about vegans and vegetarians. I want some meat. This is the smoker, so this is kind of the center of the whole kitchen. So it smokes for 10 hours? Smokes for 10 hours. Okay. And before it starts smoking, they brine the beef brisket in water, spices, brown sugar, and garlic. It sits in the brine for a week before it even sees the smoker. And they steam it for about two or three hours before they serve it upstairs. This is dedication, people. And that's just the meat. We do about 36 to 48 rye loaves of rye bread in a year. Wow, We do um, so good. Uh, we do our challah. You know, if you burp it, that's, that, that's against health. Oh, should I? oh really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Being down here makes me so hungry, though. I'm dying to get my hands on that sandwich. Jason, I need to know exactly how to make this Reuben. You gotta teach me. You gotta take our rye bread that we make it fresh every day. I'm noticing a theme here. The Russian dressing that we make here as well. Ooh, this looks amazing. Swiss cheese. So is it always Swiss for Reubens or just this Reuben? Always Swiss. Sauerkraut. Now does this make you kind of gassy, the sauerkraut? No. This is the famous pastrami yep. that I've been hearing about. Full eight ounces. Okay, let's grill it, baby. All right. Let's grill it. Pull it back over here to the grill. Okay. Ugh, I can't stand it much longer. I'm starving. Oh my god. Mm. Holy f that's good. That's amazing. Yeah. Why do you like this pastrami Reuben? Super juicy. Yeah? Can't get enough of it. My family's from New York, so oh. I know a good pastrami on Ryan. This yeah. is it. Thank you so much. I had so much fun here. And thanks to Ken and Allison, your suggestion rocked. So guys, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We are going all over the country. And we want to hear where we should go next. We want to know what your best bite is. Want a bite? Doesn't that look so good? Ah.